So turn your old laptop into a Chromebook without Chrome OS with the help of my favorite FidoS. Now based on the open source Chromium OS project, FidoS brings the Android flavor to systems both new and old. Now before getting started, make sure to hit that like button. Let's quickly get the installation out of the way as it's quite simple. Visit the FidoS website and download the appropriate version according to your chipset. Now also download the Rufus program to make the bootable pen drive. Now open the program, insert your 8GB of above pen drive, choose the FidoS file and leave everything as default. Remember the Windows OS will be erased along with all the files. Then start the process. After it's done, power off your system, then power on and press the boot menu key. Choose your pen drive. Now choose install. It will take a sweet time. And after it's done, you can just shut down, remove your pen drive and power it on again. Finally, sign in with your Google account to get the best experience and features. Otherwise, choose the local account if you are very privacy conscious. The best thing about FideOS that gives it that edge over the Chrome OS Plex is the full Android support. You can either install it directly from FideOS Store or other APK sites or the most preferred way using the Google Play Store that's optimized for tablet screen. Some helpful Android apps you would like are Instagram, YouTube, WPS Office, Snapchat, WhatsApp, KindMaster, etc. And coming to games, we actually get the game dashboard to play Android games using mouse and keyboard. It's pretty fun playing your favorite games like this and also we get the wireless controller support and it works quite seamlessly. Now, FireOS like Chromebook can run Linux apps like Steam, LibreOffice, like the GIMP, Inkspace, VS Code, Blender, etc. Especially coming to Steam, you get the native support, just sign in and explore your Steam games library. The performance is also on par with Windows, at least for the smaller titles that I tried. However, this wasn't the case by default, so make sure to turn these Chrome flags on and then restart your system. Otherwise, games will be quite unplayable. However, one thing to note that there is no controller support as Linux is running through a container, so it can't detect the controller. But with the mouse and keyboard, the experience is as good as it gets. Okay, so while some of you might be using FireOS to escape the Google ecosystem, however, if you do sign in using your Google account, as I said before, we can now use the Google Gemini circle to search, and it's quite helpful. We can also extract text from the screen and if you enable the nearby share flags in the Chrome flags menu, then you can even use the Google Quick Share to share files across your Google contacts and devices, which is actually very convenient. As an alternative, you can use Blip, which is also extremely fast and helpful. And if you thought using Chromium based OS will mean less advanced features, then that's not the case. FireOS has integrated AI features using the FireOS AI and even the Notes app. FireOS AI has more than 100 AI agents for multiple purposes and also 10 plus AI language models at your disposal. It also works quite well too and the advanced Notes app can be a perfect notion replacement for taking and organizing notes. It also features 15 plus features related to note writing and it is perfect for social media, blogs and much more. Also, while texting someone, you can use the Windows plus F shortcut now to quickly add emojis, GIFs, attachments, just like you did on your smartphone. Now, with the latest updates, you can edit your Microsoft Office files directly on FireOS. Yes, all you need to do is sign in with your OneDrive account and you get access to all your files stored on cloud right here in the Files app. Now, you can easily open and edit them on the go and this solves a major issue many users had. So we have a great wallpaper collection and material you theme support working across multiple system apps, light and dark mode which looks pretty nice, a full feature screenshot and screen recorder tool built in with advanced features like window capture. We can even cast our screen to smart devices with a single click. Overall, this is a complete and reliable operating system for working, gaming, browsing. I personally enjoy using FireOS a lot on my secondary laptop. So what's your thought on it? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.